Austin Instrument Inc. v. Laurel Corp. Facts. Laurel was granted a contract with the Navy for $6 million to produce radar sets for the Navy. Laurel subcontracted with Austin Instrument for Austin to provide Laurel with precision gear components needed to produce the radar sets. After Laurel was granted a second contract with the Navy, Austin threatened to and in fact did withhold the goods from Laurel unless Laurel agreed to pay more for the goods. Laurel called all vendors on the approved vendors list but could not get any to promise delivery of the precision goods by the date Laurel needed the goods. Laurel agreed to pay Austin more for the goods. Later, Laurel refused to pay Austin. Austin sued Laurel for the payment. Laurel sued Austin for the amount it paid Austin that was above and beyond the contract price. Issue. Is a contract modification voidable on the ground of duress when it is established that the party making the claim was forced to agree to it by means of a wrongful threat precluding the exercise of her free will? Holding. Yes. A contract modification is voidable on the ground of duress when it is established that the party making the claim was forced to agree to it by means of a wrongful threat precluding the exercise of her free will. The party making the claim must prove she could not have obtained the good from another source of supply and the ordinary remedy of an action for breach of contract would not be adequate. Analysis. Here, Austin made a wrongful threat because Austin threatened to and in fact did withhold goods from Laurel unless Laurel agreed to increase the payment for the goods after the contract was formed. The party making the claim could not have obtained the goods from another source of supply because Laurel requested the goods from all 10 vendors on the approved vendors list but could not receive a promise the goods would be delivered on time from these vendors. The ordinary remedy of an action for breach of contract would not be adequate because the Navy might not grant Laurel the contract again if Navy believed Laurel could not fulfill the contract in question. Therefore, the contract modification is voidable because Laurel was forced to agree to the modification by means of a wrongful threat precluding the exercise of his free will.